Jimmy Kimmel, who is from Las Vegas, called on President Trump and members of Congress to act in the wake of the shooting. ABC Welcome to Best of Late Night, a rundown that lets you sleep and lets us get paid to watch comedy. What do you think of it? What else are you interested in? Let us know farts at neetimes.com. There are a lot of things we can do. Jimmy Kimmel, a son of Las Vegas, delivered one of the most emotionally searing monologues in his show's 14-year history on Monday as he honored those killed and injured in Sunday night's shooting, and challenged President Trump and Congress to act against gun violence. Just as he did in his attacks on the Republican health care bills this year, Mr. Kimmel used plain, pointed language while acting as a social conscience as he called out politicians, the National Rifle Association and complacent citizens. Choked up from the start, he ultimately broke into tears as he related the events in the aftermath of what was one of the deadliest mass shootings in American history. This morning, we have children without parents and fathers without sons, mothers without daughters. We lost two police officers. We lost a nurse from Tennessee a special teacher from a local school here in Manhattan Beach. It's the kind of thing that makes you want to throw up or give up. It's too much to even process all these devastated families who now have to live with this pain forever because one person with a violent and insane voice in his head managed to stockpile a collection of high-powered rifles and use them to shoot people. Jimmy Kimmel video by Jimmy Kimmel Live Mr. Kimmel grew more forceful as he disagreed with those who consider gun violence to be inevitable. There are a lot of things we can do about it. But we don't, which is interesting. Because when someone with a beard attacks us, we tap phones, we invoke travel bans, we build walls, we take every possible precaution to make sure it doesn't happen again. But when an American buys a gun and kills other Americans, then there's nothing we can do about that. And the Second Amendment, I guess, our forefathers wanted us to have AK-47s is the argument, I assume, Jimmy Kimmel before showing the faces of senators who voted against new gun restrictions days after the Orlando shooting last year, he called Mr. Trump and congressional leaders to account, President Trump is visiting Las Vegas on Wednesday. He spoke this morning, he said he was praying for those who lost their lives. You know, in February, he also signed a bill that made it easier for people with severe mental illness to buy guns legally. The Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, a number of other lawmakers who won't do anything about this because the NRA has their balls in a money clip, also sent their thoughts and their prayers today, which is good. They should be praying. They should be praying for God to forgive them for letting the gun lobby run this country. Because it is, it is so crazy, Jimmy Kimmel video by The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon forwent his monologue altogether, starting things off with an emotional performance by Miley Cyrus, who covered Dido's No Freedom. With Adam Sandler accompanying her on guitar, she sang, No Love Without Freedom, No Freedom Without Love, Stephen Colbert started The Late Show with a sober and adamant speech from behind his desk, insisting that President Trump and members of Congress work together to pass some form of gun control legislation. Anything, he said, would be better than nothing. Mr. Colbert concluded by saying if we are facing pure evil, then by all means offer thoughts and prayers. But think about what you need to do, and then pray for the courage to do it. Noah embraces humor video by The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah stuck to a typical format on Monday's Daily Show, addressing the violence in Las Vegas with a mix of cutting commentary and humor. He took on the White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and conservative commentators who insisted that it was not appropriate to discuss gun control in the wake of a mass shooting. This is not the time to be talking about guns. Sometimes I wish I had used this logic as a kid when I'd done something wrong. You know, my mom wanted to ground me. I should have just said, is this the time, mom, that we politicize what is happening right now? This is not the time to talk about my lack of discipline. This is a time for us to unite as a family, to focus on the fact that I'm stuck in the kitchen window trying to sneak back in. Come on, Mom. This is not the time, Trevor Noah just to give you an idea of how far away America is from actual gun control. This week Congress is going to vote on deregulating gun silencers. Because I guess Congress is thinking, gun violence is out of control, how can we make it quieter? Trevor Noah the punchiest punchlines President's Cup edition video by The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in a new interview, House Speaker Paul Ryan said he thinks President Trump's heart is in the right place on race relations. Oops, sorry, I misread that. His heart is in the white place. Seth Meyers, that's right, he's letting them split a golf trophy. It's like Jesus said for I was hungry, and you gave me a golf trophy. 
What the hell I can't eat this, Stephen Colbert, reacting to Mr. Trump's decision to dedicate the President's Cup golf trophy on Sunday to hurricane victims in Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico a bit worth watching on the opposition, his new satire show. Jordan Klepper reminded viewers that the Trump administration's response to the Puerto Rico crisis was a good news story. Video by Comedy Central What we're excited about on Tuesday night Julia Roberts will sit down with James Corden on The Late Late Show. It was recently announced that Pretty Woman, her breakout film, would be redone as a stage musical. Ms. Roberts won't be in it, but Mr. Corden, a longtime stage actor himself, may be eager to talk about it with her. Also, check this out Tom Petty in 1992. Ian Dixon Redferns, via Getty Images Tom Petty, one of the most influential rock stars of the 1970s and 80s, died on Monday of cardiac arrest. Here is a curated playlist of his most memorable songs.